So welcome to uh, Mr. Markle's first virtual field trip here. We're going to give this a shot. I want to take you down to the uh, banks of the Columbia River today. Of course, you guys know that's the largest river in uh, Washington State, the largest in the Pacific North and West. And uh, this is not only the shores of the Columbia River, it's also the banks of Lake Roosevelt. Now, Lake Roosevelt is a huge reservoir that backs up the Columbia River. This water then goes to generate power and irrigate most of central Washington. But the river looks a little unusual today. If you look to our left, you're gonna see that we're way down deeper into the river and that the usual high point of water is much, much higher. In fact, this is the campground of Cloverleaf, which is right across the river from Inchileum. In fact, you can hear the ferry or possibly see the ferry in the background. Now, what's really interesting is that this valley has a tremendous amount of history. Um, Inchileum as a village was much lower down along the banks, okay, as were many other villages along the Columbia River. Later on, when you had European settlement moving in, you saw a number of farmers settle in this valley. This used to be one of the largest fruit producing areas in Washington state. It is no longer so because all of that land, the ancestral land of Native Americans from the uh, Colville Reservation, as well as the homesteaders and farmers that moved in along the shores of this river as well, were flooded out in 1941 when the Grand Coulee was completed as part of FDR's New Deal program. But before people left, they cleared out their homes and what they could get. And there's only a few remnants of these folks left. But here's one of the things that I find kind of unique. If we look down here, the river is down so low this time of year that you can actually see old stumps of trees that have been covered by water since 1941. They were cut down and harvested at a lumber company in a place called Lincoln, Washington, which is down in Lincoln County along Hawk Creek, or close to Hawk Creek anyways. Um, these stumps, uh, it's kind of fast, they have been here since that time period. They must be preserved under the water, and like I said, the river is pretty low. I come over here every year. I'm going to check the river report, which you guys can do at the Lake Roosevelt National Recreation Area, lake level. You can see how it moves up and down. Now, the reason this lake is moving up and down is because they use this water for irrigation purposes and power, too. But it's mostly irrigation I want to talk about right now because the reason this is so low is they're anticipating a huge melt-off of snow in the Canadian Rockies up to the north where the headwaters of the Columbia River is located. Okay, Now that water hasn't melted yet and so they have lowered the lake in order to get ready for that. They're running with the dams mostly open anticipating that snow melt and this will eventually be filled up. Here in the next few weeks, it's usually Memorial Day. Anyway, so we're gonna stop for right now. I'm gonna move down the road a little bit, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. 